What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus on reports that Mikhail Grigorenko, the former first-round pick of the Buffalo Sabres, the 12th, the 12th and 12th, uh, could be looking to take his talents back to his home country of Russia and go into the uh, KHL next season. Uh, you know, definitely just a strange sort of situation with him. He fell in the draft mostly because he's Russian. Um, you know, a big center that put up dominant numbers in the queue. I mean, those guys don't come around too often. And, uh, you know, Buffalo nabbed him with that 12th pick. The lockout season came around. He joined the Sabres for 25 games. And, uh, you know, the end of that, that 2013 season, or the beginning of the lockout season. Um, and, you know, put Ed stroked. I mean, that's the only way to describe it. As an 18-year-old kid in the NHL, and I've mentioned this many, many, many times on the show, he is a kid that got screwed by the AHL and NHL junior rule. He should have been in the AHL when he was 18 or 19. He had outgrown juniors size-wise and in terms of his play, and he needed AHL conditioning. Buffalo tried to develop him at the NHL level, which, you know, I know they're tanking games, which is to my point. And when, you, when you're trying to lose games and develop talent at the same time, it's kind of like, what are you doing? Um, and it was the same thing the next year, 2013-2014. Come up, 18 games with the Sabres, ended up back in the queue. Um, which, again, it's not fair to the kid uh, that he, he gets, gets stuck in the middle of, again, a bullshit rule. Um, this year, and you think about it, because he played 25 and 18 games respectfully, respectively, uh, he was he's already burned two years on entry, his entry level deal before his before his first uh, pro season and uh, you know it's it's a tough deal but this year you know was up and down put up good numbers in the AHL Rochester 36 points in 43 games as a kid who was 20 all season uh, you know one of the younger players up there and uh, you know definitely a uh, just a, a bad situation I think for him and for for Buffalo. You can call it mismanaged talent, and I think that's what it is, but I also think that rule uh, come back to bit buff bite Buffalo in the ass, and, you know, if you're this kid, why well, stick around and, uh, you know, and I guess Buffalo wants to give him a two-way deal. I, just, I read a tweet from McKenzie. Uh, so, yeah, why stick around a two-way deal? You can go make money in your home country. Um, I think that's probably the best way to look at it, and you look at it from Gregorio's perspective. You know, Ryan is coming up, Eichel's coming up, there's, you know, more guys coming into the fray that Buffalo may show, may show favoritism towards over him because, you know, these guys are all... Greg Renko wasn't taken, drafted by this, you know, group in charge now with the Sabres, you know. Uh, so, Eichel and uh, Reiner were, and, you know, I think they're fourth and they, uh tiebreaker, they're going to get, you know, better looks to, to get, you know, decent NHL ice time, so it's just a, a tough situation, and I wish they'd handled this development a little differently, um, I, but it is what it is, you know, I, I talked to Danny Healy possibly going over there um, next year, so, with the KHL, so it would be pretty interesting, Greg Ranko and Healy on the line together, uh, you know, and again, if he does go over there, Buffalo retains his NHL rights, so... He maybe goes over there for two years, dominates, and comes back as you know legitimate number one center. Which you think what that was his projection coming out of juniors? I mean, he's six foot four, two hundred pounds. He's a big kid, good, great vision. Um, you know, good, good game all around. So let's we'll see what happens. I just I, I feel bad for the kid. I just think he kind of got the shit end of the stick with everything. It wasn't a great situation in Buffalo when he got drafted, and that rule just hindered his ability to be developed at a um, rate that was conducive for his. Uh, well being as a hockey player. Anyway, that's like an episode of the power play with CJ's more episodes for the final and beyond. Later guys.